I was bewildered. I was impatient. I felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. But getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a life for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the Academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. The time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us, to the people we met as we traveled across the country, The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light. And somewhere, a part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come. But all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. <sighs> well played, Armbrust. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days or anything else I'd come to treasure. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time. He isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame.
How did I get here? I feel like I was fighting, and then... Am I dreaming? Of course not. Finally woken up. Uh, you're... And I wish it were, but this is no dream. This is reality. Cold, cruel reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that because you haven't got time to waste. His core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself, Ashen Awakener. going on here anyway what is that thing wait never mind that what are you Ugh, knock it off how am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with question after question you're a chosen one Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great power? That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great knights that appear in Erebonian legends. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster, while at others, they were the cause of harm and disaster themselves. And the being in front of you is one of them, a divine knight known as the Ashen Knight. Ashen Knight? Valmar? Wait, I remember when I called him. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. But he's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction has one under their control, too. That one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? That's the one you fought, and lost against. Why? Why did it come to this? Why did everyone... Crow? <sighs> he had me fooled, too. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Azure Knight's Awakener? He's obviously had plenty of experience piloting it, too. He must be pretty dedicated to his cause, whatever it is. Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista! Take me back to my classmates! You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Azure Knight. Didn't I just tell you that? And despite that, he strained himself flying all the way out here afterwards. Even when he was barely hanging on, he prioritized your recovery over his own. You exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with him, you know? Damn it!
Hmm. This must be somewhere in the Isengard range, on the northern side of the Nortia province. Huh. I'm surprised you were able to work that out just from a glance. I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountain. Hey! Where are you going? Monsters nearby, too. I'm gonna need to be careful. I wonder what's going on over at the Academy now. Hey! Slow down a minute! Well, only one way to find out. If I keep going this way, I should be able to get out of the canyon. Excuse me! be thinking of leaving him there out in the open, are you? <sighs> hey, say something. Are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. <sighs> what else was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, you'd be dead by now. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. If anything, you should be thanking me. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at some point.
sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back in Trista. A month? You can't be serious! There's no way it's been that long! <sighs> oh sure, don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with the Ashen Knight. And I do mean completely. There was a real chance you could have died. What? It's a miracle you're able to walk around like this a mere month later, and it's all thanks to him. He used what little mana he had left to heal you rather than himself. And just so you know, I've been here this whole time watching over you. So I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity I'm getting from you. Try calming down a little, you know. <sighs> <sighs> you could at least respond.
I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer, probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but better late than never, I guess. Just what are you, anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat, because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Well, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her though. I did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Guess we were right. But her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Everyone at the Academy is safe and sound. Not to mention Elise, Princess Alphen, and Prince Oliver, too. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath and keep going. been here before. Master Kafai brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Kafai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? Must have been... 
I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I wanna try and gather information on what's been going on. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! It couldn't be! Night. You know what that thing is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! Damn it, what's one doing here? Ugh, we need to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own! Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Bring it on! Let's move! Yeah! Let's move! Alright, let's do this! Here I go! Ha! Here I go! Ha! Here I go! All right, let's do this! Here I go! Give up! Give up! Ha! I won't give up! Ha! I'm not done yet! Yeah!
barely putting a dent into it. We're so close to Ymir, too. I told you this would happen! Not today, buddy! Made it without a second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness and Toval. And... Green, stay right there! Exhausted. Who's she? Elise? It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Rain, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're all right. But how did you know I was here? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power?